All right, what's up guys? Your boy Steve. We're back out of here in New York, still exploring, and then I uh, had to pull up on my boy Dima out here in District 1. Shout out to my homie Briss, actually told us about the store, and I've been checking them out on Instagram almost since they opened, and it was a must have to pull up here. So Dima, go ahead and introduce yourself, man. What's going on, man? I'm Dima. Uh, manager of the store, District 1. We're here in uh, Stanton Street, Lower East Side, New York. Buy, sell, trade. Buy all your new used shoes. Uh, we do a lot of trading. We get a lot of new releases and we're always, you know, give it back to the community. Yes, sir. Yeah, sick store, bro. Love yes. it. Yeah, love the like, selection is crazy. You can definitely find any grill that you're looking for. It will definitely be here. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do today, just going to give us a little tour of the store, talk about each section, talk about how what moves better for them and kind of like how their daily day goes around. So we start right here and this is the buying counter. I'm gonna yeah, right so we got the buying counter right here with a good selection of uh, pre-owned heat. All these shoes are pre-owned and marked down that you could get them for a good deal. A lot of people trade up for them. You're able to bring in like all the new releases and trade up to get one of your grails. So we also have a lot of new grails that I'll show you in a little bit, but definitely check out the counter anytime you're in here. There's a lot of heat all through here. And then we got a lot of very like near dead stock ones in this section. We got some foam runners for the guys. And we got a good selection of the La Off-White Dunks. Yeah, we get a lot of these in here. We're always color swapping, size swapping. Um, as you can see, there's a big pile of shoes behind the counter. That's just what we got today earlier, but there's still more to come. Yeah. All right, bro. <laughs> now, like I said, I love the selection. So, uh, question, throughout the day, how, much, how many shoes, just like an estimate, would you say you guys buy? Um, I mean, it always depends on like the weather in New York. You get a snowy day, you don't get as much. You get a rainy day, you get a couple. I want to say like in a average day, we get at least like 180 shoes a day. And maybe there are days where it's way more. So Crazy. sometimes you'll come in here, you'll just see boxes all over and you never know what, what grail is going to come in here. No, definitely. And you guys have the grails for sure, 100%. Uh, one thing that I noticed, bro, uh, keeping up with your Instagram a lot, yeah. is you guys have the daily steals every yeah. morning, right? Yeah. Uh, that's a great, I, to me, it's like a, one of the best things you could do, I guess, for a store, because yeah. one, I'm assuming you get the shoe cheap and you yeah. get rid of it cheaper. So like that, a lot of, of people that have been hunting down grails or just some GRs that are like crazy, like Brett Forrest now, like five to $600, yeah, yeah. right? Dollars. You can get it for like maybe 200 bucks here. So Talk to me about that. Like, what makes y'all go uh, towards that route? I mean, for us, it, it, with the amount of inventory that we get in, we try to do like a little faster pay sale. So we just give people like the best price they could possibly get so they could get it as close as they want. And every day it just attracts more people. If you guys were here earlier, you would have probably seen a line down, down the block. We typically have like at least 30 people waiting every morning just to come in, shop around, maybe trade or pick up that steal. All right, so now we're in another section of the store. Uh, one of my favorite sections, because you see a lot of stuff that you just don't see on your everyday basis, especially in Dallas, it's kind of hard to see stuff like this. And usually when we do have it, it flies, just because you know it's so hard to get out there compared to like in New York. So uh, yeah, Dima, talk to me a little bit about so this. This is our trophy case. Basically everything in here is our trophies. As you could tell, we got anything from a $30,000 1985 Chicago, all the way to like bread fours, Got a bunch of off whites in here for you guys. You know, a lot of a lot of things you don't see every day, and they always do move. We just try to keep getting them in and keep them in for the store. So like, we got lucky with one of the LV Air Forces, very rare shoe right now. People have been going crazy for them. But you know, also like a good mix of shoes that you don't see every day. We got the Tom Sachs. We got Joe Freshgood. Got some chunky donkeys in here, but. They always sell, a lot of people typically trade for them, especially when it's like somebody's birthday or an event. A lot of people like to look in this case and get, get it right. Crazy, no, crazy selection. Uh, I bet, I can only imagine how hard it was to probably get your hands on that. Yeah, yeah I mean, we, it took us like a, a couple of tries, but we were able to grab this yellow pair. We've been looking for other pairs, so if you guys do have one, 
feel free to bring it by. We'll definitely <laughs> buy it off y'all. If they, these guys don't get it first. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were tempted. I told them about it. I was yeah. like, man, they have the yellow pair in there. Yeah. What size is it? It looks like a 10 and a half. It's my size. It's a 10 yeah. right yeah. there. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm tempted to just try it on. <laughs> You'd be crazy. Yeah. yeah, throwing it on. No, no definitely sick selection. And like I said, I love that not only heat, but you also have like your bread fours, your black. I mean, these are heat now. Oh, you yeah. can't get them. You can't get them for cheap anymore. Exactly. Like in the right around Halloween, these things hit a thousand dollars. The black hats, and you still like see them. People come in for used pairs all the time. We give them out for like three hundred. People line up all night just to get those. Crazy. It's funny. At the time, I was working at Nike when these released, oh, nice. and we released them, and they sat for a whole month. A whole month, you could have got them for a retail. And now it's crazy what they're going for, like six to eight hundred dollars. Just crazy to see how the market is now, right? Like so many people are into it, but dope, man. I love the setup right here. Looks hella nice. And uh, yeah, see you got some more here, you got some unions. Yeah, we got some unions down here, some uh, Travis Scott fragments, got a couple of those. These are our best seller right here, Travis Frag Lowe's. Everybody loves this shoe right here. But you know, you got your off-whites, you got some Chicago's up there, you can't sleep on those. Definitely one of the greatest shoes made by Virgil. Oh, of course. A hundred percent, yeah. I um, also want to show you guys like the steel rack, which we typically put all our steels. It's right here in the middle. So typically in the morning when people line up, um, we always get, oh, you guys throw them in there. Uh, we throw up all the steels in there. People look through them. They try to find the best deals. We try to keep this place a little more organized. You know, it's been a pretty big, uh, busy day today. But right here, we keep try to keep like a size run of all the newer releases because we do allow people to swap their shoes in here for other sizes. So it always helps out having the newer releases when people don't get the size that they actually wanted. Fire, dope. Yeah, you can definitely see it gets a little bit more hectic over here, especially yeah. with all the steals. Yeah. I'm sure people are like trying to be quick with it, trying to make sure yeah. they get it. I mean, especially having like the right price. Like we yeah. try to be more fair. Like we have these for 350 right now. They've been flying all day. Can't beat it. Yeah, yeah got them on. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about that release? Uh, I really liked it. Honestly, I think they did a really good job on the shoe. I mean, quality wise, it, there are some yeah, little you know, mistakes, but you know, you kind of rushing it, so. It's been a pretty good release. I feel like this one is going to go up in, uh, in the near future. At the very end, you have the GS wall. This is all uh, smaller sizes for females, younger kids that they pick up. We all always keep like try to keep good deals up here too. But in GS sizes, we get a lot of women shoppers. They love this wall that is dedicated just for them. and they're always able to find something cool on no, it. super smart, definitely. Yeah. I know, especially at our store too, we get a lot of like females, yeah. kids, you know, trying to find stuff in their size. Yeah. It's dope to just have a section yeah. dedicated I to it. I mean, them. it feels more personable right. to have it for yourself, to be like, oh, that's just dedicated to you. Right. So they're like, oh, that's awesome. They cared about me, right? Like, let's get it. No, sick, love the setup, love the setup. Definitely. This is the other, this is the main wall, the men's wall. From here, we carry size eight all the way to 14. Try to keep it stock neat, you know, try to get a good selection. As you can see, the wall stretches down all the way. We mix it up, all Jordan 1s, leading to the other numbers all the way to probably, we usually just keep like 14s, 15s. We don't go further than that because right. it's a little harder to sell. So, yeah. But then we got our dunks and some new balances down there too. No, dope. What would you say is your like best seller here? I guess like just... Um, out of New York, it's typically based on release. So anytime a new shoe comes out, it's always the hottest shoe. But a lot of people like, t like uh, recently, they always pick up dunks. So people okay. like the black and whites. There's a new core purple one that people have been the going white, crazy yeah, on. Thanks. Yeah, um, people love ones. We just got the Georgetowns a little early, so yeah, a lot of people yeah. have been snagging those up. And, um, you know, usually any new release, but you never know, some people come with like an outfit in mind. So we oh, try okay. to coordinate with their outfit so they could you know, get that fit off. Yeah, I already know. Yeah, it's, that's kind of like our consumer out there in Dallas. We usually just get people who are looking for a fit, especially color combination. You feel me? That's Definitely. key to them. So they're always like, I need something that'll fit with this or that'll go with that. And then also we get a lot of people that are just looking for like a grail too. You feel me? That Even trait. like giving people pointers, they feel like, you know, you have a good relationship because like somebody had a crazy pink tracks the other day and like, I want pink sneakers. I'm like, just get white sneakers. Yeah, it's already going to be enough for you. Yeah. 
No, a hundred percent. You gotta make sure it's not like just the same color everywhere. You yeah. know what I mean? Right. No, dope. No, yeah, man. Appreciate the time to talking to us, man. We love the shop. Please, like I said, check them out at District One. Check out their Instagram. Uh, they're killing it with the steals, killing it out here in New York. And like I said, I'm excited to see what they're gonna be in you know five to ten years from now. Yeah. And if you're in New York, bring by your shoes. We're always cashing out right here, 114 Stanton. Sir, appreciate you, Dima, for your time, bro. Always. Yep. Peace.